and uh, I have to read Pride and Prejudice, Volume Three, Part Two, Chapter One. Fantastic. While I while I fight, so uh, let's get started. It is a truth universally acknowledged that a single man in possession of good fortune must be in want of a wife. Oops, he didn't fire. Oh shit. Uh, however, little known feelings. <sighs> yeah, this is rough. Yeah. Anyway, <sighs> however, little known to feelings or views. Damn it. Of such a man. Fuck. Maybe on his first entering a neighborhood. <sighs> Drop him. Get him. This truth is so well fixed in the minds of the surrounding families that he is considered as the right pro full property of some one or other of their daughters. This doesn't even make any sense. My dear Mr. Bennett, said his lady to him one day, have you heard that Netherfield Park is here at last? Mr. Bennett replied that he had not. But it is, returned she, for Mrs. Law has just been here, and she just told me all about it. Mr. Bennett made no answer. Do not you want to know who has taken it? Rick cried his wife impatiently. You tell me, and I have no objection to hearing it. This was an invitation enough. Why, my dear, you must know. Did I mess up who was talking? Oh, fuck it, I'm gonna keep going. Mrs. Long says that Netherfield is taken by a young man of large fortune from the north of England. That he came down on Monday in a chase and fought to see the place. That rhymes. Maybe. I don't know if I pronounced Chase right. And was so much delighted with that that he agreed with Mr. Moss immediately. That he was to take possession before Michaelmas. And some of his servants are to be in the house by the end of next week. What is his name? Bingley! Is he married or single? Oh, single, my dear, to be sure! A single of large fortune! Four or five thousand a year! What a fine thing for our girls! How so? How can it be affect them? My god, he's like not even halfway dead yet. This is so tedious. My dear Mr. Bennett! replied his wife. How can you be so tiresome? You must know that I'm thinking of his marrying one of them. Is that his design in settling here? Design? Nonsense! How can you talk so? But it is very likely that he may fall in love with one of them. And fuck! Fuck I died! You must visit him as soon as he comes! I see no occasion for that! You and the girls may go, or you may send them by themselves, which perhaps will still be better, for, as you are as handsome as any of them, Mr. Bingley might like you the best of the party! Is he telling his wife to cheat on him? I have no idea. My dear, you flatter me. I certainly have had my share of beauty, but do not pretend to be anything extraordinary now. When a woman has five grown-up daughters, she ought to give over thinking of her own beauty. Can this guy, like, get him hit more than one pea shooter shot at a time? Seriously. Ah. In such cases, a young woman has not often much beauty to think of. But, my dear, you must indeed go and see Mr. Bingley when he comes into the neighborhood. It is 
is more than I engage for, I assure you. It would be for one of them! So William and Lady Lucas are determined to go! Merely on that account for, in general, you know that they visit now newcomers! Indeed, you must go! For it will be impossible for us to visit him if you do not! This doesn't make any sense. You are scrupulous, surely. I dare say Mr. Bingley will be very glad to see you. And I will send a few lines of cocaine by you to assure him of my hearty consent to his marrying whichever he chooses of the girls. Though I must throw in a good word for my little Lizzie. Wow, aren't you being, um favorite thing your daughters, I guess. I desire you will do no such thing! Lizzie is not a bit better than the others, and I am sure she is not half as handsome as Jane, nor half so good humored as Lydia, but you are always giving her the preference! They have none of them much to recommend them, replied he. They are all silly and ignorant like other girls. But Lizzie has something more of quickness than her sisters. How much you want to bet Lizzie's the youngest? Mr. Bet! How can you abuse your own children in such a way? You take a delight in vexing me! You have no compassion on my poor nerves! He's so close to dead, I'm so fucking happy! You mistake me, my dear! I have a high respect for your nerves! They are... the old friends! I'm changing voices. Oh shit, he's dead. Sweet. Alright, yeah. There you have it. Wow, I died like twice. That was kind of hard to look at both screens at once. Anyway, um, there's Snake Man. And my throat hurts. And that's all well and good and fantastic. Hey, Mega Man! Seal my... Slam dunk stick, I suppose. And you got a new car or come guzzling piece of shit faggot or whatever. Or some stink. Great. Um it's basically the bubble lead of everything else. Oh, of this game. And uh choose who you want next and keep the recommendations, whatever, for robot matches and weapons rolling. And uh, I'll see you guys next video. Later. Three cheers for Dr. Mike. Three cheers for Mega Man. And you more.